everybody, we have an important topic to discuss today, and that is the use effect react hook. Use effect is a react hook. Basically speaking, use effect tells react to do some code when, then pick one of the following, do some code when this component re-renders, or do this code when the component mounts. When you mount a component, that's when you create and append it to the DOM. That is known as mounting. Or do some code when the state of a value changes. Think of an effect as some side code you would like to perform. I don't really think use effect is a great name. If I could rename use effect, I feel like a more appropriate name would be use side code. But that's just my opinion. So think of an effect as some side code. You'll write your side code within a function. This can be a callback, an anonymous function, or an arrow function. And optionally, for the second argument, you can pass in an array of dependencies. If we would like to run our side effect on every re-render of the component, we would just need to pass in a function, such as an arrow function. Do this code every time the component re-renders. If you would like to perform some side code only when the component mounts and not during every re-render, you would pass in an empty array of dependencies. That tells React, perform this code only once when the component mounts. Within your array of dependencies, if you were to pass in a value, this code would run when the component mounts, plus when this value changes. Use effect has a bunch of different uses. You'll see use effect with event listeners, DOM manipulation, subscriptions to real-time updates, fetching data from an API, and cleanup when a component unmounts. Unmounting is when you remove a component from the DOM, whereas in mounting is adding a component to the DOM. Okay, let me give you a few examples. In order for us to use use effect, we have to import it from the React library. We have use state as well as use effect. In this example, we're going to create a count state variable, const count, and a setter for count. Set count equals use state. The initial state of count will be zero and we'll display our count within our return statement. Let's create one paragraph element that has text of count, as well as our state variable of count, and a button. Let's create a button element that has text of add. When we click on add, we will add one to our count. We'll need a function to work with. I will set the onClick event handler equal to a JavaScript function. Let's name this function add count. Then we just need to declare this function. Function add count. All we'll do is use our setter for count, take the previous state of count as a parameter, arrow, do this. Take the previous state of count, add one. Every time I press the button, we will add one to count. Now let's use use effect. I can run some side code every time this component re-renders. I would just have to place that code within a function that will pass to use effect. Every time this component re-renders, I will change the title of the document. We'll need to use use effect. Be sure to place use effect near the top of your component. We will call use effect. There are two arguments a function, and an array of dependencies. I would like to perform some code every time the component re-renders. I do not need that second argument. Now we just need a function. This can be a callback, an anonymous function, or an arrow function. We're going to be using an arrow function. Every time this component re-renders, what would we like to do? Let's access our document access the title, set it equal to be a template string of count, and insert our state variable of count. Let me refresh. Every time this component re-renders, including initially when we mount the component, we will perform this code where we update the title. Every time I press the add button, the title is going to update. If you would like your side code to run only when the component mounts, when we create and add it to the DOM initially, you'll pass in as a second argument an 
empty array, an empty array of dependencies. So if I were to run this again and press add, well, our title only updates once and no other time after that. For example, I might want to set my title to be my counter program. I only need to update this title once. I don't need to update it every time the component re-renders. It's a one and done effect. In this case, I would like to add an empty array of dependencies because if I didn't, well, we would update this title every time the component re-renders when we really don't need to. In this specific example, it doesn't benefit us to update the title every time we add one to count. Let's revert those changes back. You could pass in a value to your array of dependencies. Within your array of dependencies, you can add a value. Let's add our count state variable. What we're telling React is that when our component mounts, plus when this value changes of count, then do the side code. So with what I've written currently, every time I press the button, the title is going to update. If our count state variable updates, perform our side code. This is very similar to us not having that dependency array. You know, this will work too. However, since we don't have any dependencies, this code is going to run for any reason that this component re-renders, even for something completely unrelated. By adding an array of dependencies and placing a value within, do this code only when this value updates. Now to demonstrate, we'll create another button to subtract. The text will be subtract. We'll create a function to subtract count. We can copy this function, paste it, change the name to subtract count, take the previous state of count minus one. So if our count changes, whether we add one or minus one, the title of our document is still going to change. If the value of count changes for any reason, do the side code. Let's add another value to our dependency array. We will create a state variable for color. Color and set color equals use state. The initial state for my color will be green. We'll flip between green and red. Green means go, red means stop. After our subtract button, I will add a break and a button to change the color. Change color. The onClick event handler will equal this function of change color. And we just need to define this function. Function change color. We will use the setter for set color. We will use the previous state of color. Is the previous state of color strictly equal to green? Ternary operator. Is this true? If it is, return red. Otherwise, return green. Then we will take our paragraph of count, access the style attribute, set it equal to, embed some JavaScript. We need a JavaScript object, so we need another set of curly braces. Take the color property, set it equal to our color state variable. So now the count is green. With our title, let's also add the color. So I'm not going to add our color to our dependency array quite yet. We can add, the title updates, we can subtract, the title still updates, but if we change the color, the color changes of this paragraph element, but not the title. We're executing this code only when the count changes. So even though I'm flipping between red and green, the title is still staying the same. If I were to add our color to our dependency array, anytime the count or the color changes, update the title. So let's try this again. The title updates when I add or subtract or change the color. Now the title is count one red, count one green, count one red, count one green. So that's where your dependency array comes in. Anytime one of these values change, perform the side code. Now you may have noticed 
if you remove use effect, well, your title is still going to update. So why would you need use effect? There are a couple benefits of using use effect. The first benefit is that by using use effect, it keeps your code more organized. If you were to look over some React code and look within the use effect hook, you could tell when exactly this code runs. Does it run during every re-render, only when the component mounts, or when one of these values change? If you didn't use use effect, well then this code would run every single time regardless, every time the component re-renders, which you may not always want. But not only that, but with more advanced features such as event listeners or subscriptions, you may want to remove or free up those resources. You can return a cleanup function. If you were to return a function, when this component unmounts, when we remove it from the DOM, or before the next render, you can perform some cleanup code. For example, if we were to add an event listener when the component mounts, we would like to remove it before unmounting. If we don't, it may lead to unexpected behavior. So that's another benefit of using use effect. Perform some code only in certain situations, and you do have the option to do some cleanup code before the next re-render or when you unmount the component. I'll discuss the return statement in this next demonstration and how it can be useful. In this next example, we're going to create a width and a height, what the width and the height of our window is. Every time we adjust the size of the window, the width and the height displayed is going to change. We'll need two state variables to work with. A width, set width. We will be using use state. So the initial state of the width of the window, access our window, give me the inner width property. Then let's do this with height. Const height, set height window dot inner height within our return statement we will create a paragraph element that has text of window width we will display our width state variable then add pixels for a unit of measurement then let's do this with height window height display our height state variable so we have window width and window height. If I were to adjust this window, nothing happens. There's no change. Let's create a function to handle resize. Function handle resize. No parameters. We're going to set our width to be the inner width property of our window and set height H should be capital. Set height, take our inner height of our window and reset it. So now we need to add an event listener because this still doesn't change. We're going to add an event listener that will listen for a resize event whenever we resize our window. If we attempt to use this without use effect, but within the body of our component, we will take our window, add an event listener. We need an event and a function to do something. The event is going to be a resize event. When the window is resized, perform this code. We will pass in a callback to handle resize. And then for demonstration purposes, I'm going to console.log event listener added. We only need one event listener to make this program work. Now, if I were to resize my window, this does work. Our width state variable changes. Same thing goes with the height. Now let's take a look at our console. There's an issue. We only need one event listener to make this program work. However, every time the component re-renders, we're adding a new event listener. We've added over 1,000 event listeners. That's really not good. How about this? Only when our component mounts, when we append it to the DOM, we will add one event listener, and that's it. So guess what? We're going to place our code within use effect. We will pass in a function 
and an array of dependencies. When would we like to add an event listener? Let's add an event listener only when the component mounts. So we need to add an empty array of dependencies. Let's try that again. I'm going to resize our window. That should be good. Go to inspect. Yeah, you can ignore all this garbage. So if you have strict mode on, which I do, use effect is going to run twice. It will run a development only setup and then a cleanup cycle. So this is normal. So we didn't add thousands of event listeners. Besides the first cleanup cycle, because I have strict mode on, we're only adding one event listener because that's all we need. We don't need thousands of event listeners. If you ever need to unmount the component, meaning remove it from the DOM, use effect has another use, and that is adding a return statement. To do any cleanup, you will return a function. Do this code either before the next re-render or when the component unmounts. If we add an event listener, then we unmount the component, it would be good practice to remove that same event listener. If you don't, that can lead to unexpected behavior. When we unmount our component, we will take our window, then remove event listener. We will remove the event of resize and a callback to handle resize. When we are done with this component, free up any resources so that it doesn't lead to unexpected behavior. Let me add one more line of code too. Let's console.log event listener removed. Let's refresh, resize our window a few times. Go to inspect, console. Okay, let's take a look. Since I am in strict mode, we'll run our use effect once during the development cycle and then clean it up right away. Then we will add that event listener only once. We didn't unmount this component yet, so we didn't remove it. So by adding a return statement, you can do any cleanup, either before the next re-render or when you unmount the component. Within a component, you can add more than one use effect hook. We're gonna add a second use effect hook. If the width or the height changes, we're gonna update the title of our document to display the width and the height. So let's add another use effect hook. Use effect. What code would we like to perform? Let's access our document, take the title, set it equal to B. Let's use a template string. Let's say size, placeholder, width, X, height. When would we like to use this effect? Let's use this effect when the width and the height update. We will need that dependency array. We will list the width and the height state variables. So on mount, we'll get the size right away. 227 by 396. Now every time the width and the height changes, the title is gonna update. So you can have more than one use effect hook within your component. All right, everybody, so that is the use effect hook. It's a React hook that tells React to do this code when either the component re-renders, this component mounts, or the state of a value changes. There are two arguments, a function that contains the code you would like to perform, and optionally, an array of dependencies. Based on what you pass in to use effect, you'll either run this code after every re-render, run only when the component mounts, or run when the component initially mounts, plus when the value changes. Use effect is great with event listeners, DOM manipulation, subscriptions to real-time updates, fetching data from an API, or cleanup when a component unmounts. We will have more practice with use effect in the next video, where we will create a digital clock. And well, everybody, that is an introduction to use effect in React.